Hi everyone, welcome back to Tarotella. My name is Joyce. Thank you so much for tuning in here. Um, we're going to have a celebrity psychic reading for Seo Yiji. This is highly requested in Kim Soo Hyun's video that I did last, um, I think, two weeks ago. And thank you so much for supporting that video. I really do appreciate your time for watching that and for subscribing to my channel. By the way, I call my subscribers Stellars and my name is not Stellar <laughs> and not Tarotella. My name is Joyce, okay? <laughs> and if you'd like to donate and support my channel, my PayPal link is on the description box as well. Um, my um, website, if you'd like to purchase private readings from me, you can see um, my website link on the description box. And if you'd like to request for your favorite celebrities, let me know in the comment section box, okay? And um, first of all, I'd like to uh, say that um, I need you to respect um, whatever that is going to pop up in my reading because I know a lot of shippers are like head over heels <laughs> with their, you know, love team. And let's do respect their private lives. And the purpose of this reading is to have some, you know, to get some clues and hints of what's going on with their love life. And let's just be excited whatever that comes out in this reading, okay? And please be respectful and less expectant um, because we'll never know if they're truly dating, you know, that, that guy, whoever that is. <laughs> it's just a hint, okay? Okay, um, my spirit guide will um, let me know about that, okay? Okay, heavens, holy spirit. What is the overall energy of the love life of Seo Yiji? The cloud. Some blurry things that's going on in her love life right now. Maybe she couldn't decide yet, you know? Um, you know, when you are in a confusion you don't know what to do with your love life <laughs> you know that that kind of stage um if people are expecting of you to be like this and that and you are in the cloud you know like a stock okay like um you you're kind of looking for your intuition you you kind of need some guidance this is the kind of energy when you are feeling pressured and um you need to flex some of your intuition to follow um, what's truly really in your heart or follow what people will tell you or dictate to you that kind of energy and um, it could mean that you're being overly negative or pessimistic she, she may be feeling negative about her love life maybe because of the circumstances that people expect her to be dating this person or not and she is under pressure and there's so many confusion that's going on in her mind right now um maybe she doesn't want people to uh disappointed to get disappointed because um she may not be feeling the same way as the people you know expect her to feel you know that kind of feeling this cloud um confusion um looking for a direction in your relationship or what your heart is telling you rather than what people is telling you to be or to do okay that kind of energy <coughs> <coughs> and uh, we're going to use french vintage stamp love oracle okay i do a lot of cuts in my videos because i stutter a lot because of the retrograde that's happening in 2020 i hate retrogrades nobody likes it okay <clears throat> let's see universe what's going on with soy say all you choose love life Give us some hands and clues. Give us some hands and clues. Heartache. Mm. Wow. 
pain and distress will only come from this love. Best protect your heart. Hmm. Could be her spirit guide is telling her to hold back. You know, because I think she is in the peak of her career, right? The first time I watched her was in Huarang. That's what I that's the only time that I noticed her and she's like, oh my god, she's so pretty. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's in Huarang. <laughs> It was a long time ago. I'm sorry, guys. And she was like the princess or something like that. Is that Huara? If I'm not mistaken, please let me know and just correct me, okay? Um, maybe her spirit guides is telling her not to give in yet. Maybe this is very relevant with the cloud energy because the cloud energy is about confusion, and her spirit guide is um, protecting her. Maybe she needs to realize that she needs to protect herself as well because, you know, being in love in this um, situation when everyone is in the high emotion and you couldn't just um, give in literally with everybody's telling you or she's a celebrity, you know, she has her own decisions, she can make her own decision and she will call the shots here because she's the woman <laughs> in this connection with this person whoever that is we don't know but um, there's a feeling of um, distress and I think this is a warning for her you know like uh, pain and distress will only oh my god oh, camera come on oh, yeah pain and distress will only come from this love best protect your heart yeah she needs to protect her heart in order for her to survive in the show business or to um, refrain from emotional you know emotional distress because she's in the peak of her career and she's pretty young you know she's not in her late uh, 30s yet and I think um, her fame will rise even more because of it's okay not to be okay and I'm telling you guys that I haven't seen the series so forgive me for for that because I'm still stuck in a Chinese long period drama mm, because I'm a crush and yeah yeah maybe her spirit guides are telling her to kind of like um, try to uh, avoid making heartaches or you know giving in to a relationship we don't know what kind of status is this you know we may not be uh, we may not know um, who's involved in this relationship but these are the hints you know this is the purpose of what I'm doing here in Taradella um, I need some hints of what's going on in their love life because you know I am the curious tarot reader here okay universe what else can you say about COEG's love life <coughs> Teacup, good luck, fortune, and hope. Okay, so um, this is a good sign that um, her spirit guides giving her some fortune and some hope for the next two years of her love life, and um, the spirit guides is giving her and the heavens is giving her that fortune of um, a good relationship. And maybe if this current relationship is not going to um, work out, there will be a good fortune that's going to come to her and a good hope, you know, like a good luck, kind of fortune cookie, good luck um, energy, you know. And this is so exciting because if this won't work, there will be like a, like a huge, huge fortune that's going to come to her love life. Oh, I'm so envy her. <laughs> Take a luck. Okay, <clears throat> that's gonna clarify. We're going to clarify. Oops. Okay. This told you guys you have to be less expectant. Okay. <clears throat> kind of like envy of having a teacup luck because not everyone has that good fortune in relationship you know 
Is she dating somebody this time? I'm not pretty sure of that. Maybe the next love life will give her the fortune, good fortune and hope and good luck. But I think the present time is warning her to not give in. Oops, we have six of gems. Generosity. Okay, that's so nice. Let's wait for the jump card, okay? Oops. We have nine of wings. Ten of roses. Five of wings. Three of shells. Queen of roses. Let me just arrange this accordingly, guys. <clears throat> Two more. Two of gems. And Prince of Wings. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of air signs here. Nine of Wings. Five of Wings and Prince of Wings. Okay, Earth Sign is also involved. Okay. Earth Sign is like Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra, and yeah. Fire Sign. Aries, Sagittarius, <coughs> Leo, <coughs> and also Earth Sign. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. But I can sense that um, she is in her um, juggling options, you know. I can sense that she is... Um, there's a lot of burden that's happening right now in, with her. We got the Nine of Wings and the Ten of Roses. Ten of Roses is about stress. And the Nine of Wings is about obsession. Because I think what's involved in her relationship there's some obsession that's happening right now and it's quite distracting her because knight of wings as well as the knight of swords is about anxiety and not having that kind of you know um you call this peace of mind whenever you go uh, when you go asleep you know that kind of um energy negative energy because you're afraid of what people's gonna tell you or you're afraid you kind of like um too conscious about how you act in front of everybody because you're so anxious of what they're gonna tell you and there's an obsession here so I think she's <laughs> I think this is very re relevant with the heartache yep um, because this is a warning sign for her and as you can see there's a stress and you got the two oh no it's five of wings my gosh my um my eyes there's a defeat so i think um probably there's a failed connection with this energies that i'm seeing which we don't know who's involved in this it's a failed connection and probably it's giving her a lot of anxiety for some reason but generosity i think she's trying to be um giving and kind to people or you know kind for herself because um the first person who needs her is herself you know in this connection and being generous more giving more understanding not just in terms of materials but in terms of time in terms of um emotions you know like um uh, moral support to somebody that you really care about this is generosity just giving your time understanding and letting them know that no matter what happened they will be there for um for you that kind of energy with it with the six of gems and i think she is letting go of this person that kind of um the kind of energy i'm seeing here letting go being generous and she's like if this doesn't work you know the kind of attitude if this doesn't work then i will let you go i will set you free yeah that kind of <laughs> because there's a defeat like um she tried to work on it but she feels like it's it's unworkable it's 
um, unrestorable, you know, that kind of um, connection with the person. Oh, I feel so broken to see this. Anyway, we got the Three of Shells and Queen of Roses and Two of Gems and Prince of Wings, which is which is a, um, a very challenging time for her because there's a lot of changes, major decisions here with the Two of Gems. The change that indicates is about juggling your options um, <clears throat> to make an impact in the future. And maybe this is the Prince of Wings, the challenger, something a very challenging connection. Maybe she's the first one who's going to fall in love with this person. And I I do really think that this is about the teacup luck here. Because this is futuristic. <laughs> Sorry. Um futuristic energy of tea, teacup luck. And this Prince of Wings may be somebody that is an air sign. That she could really like you know get attached with and she need to make a decision whether or not to say yes to this person because this is the end of the line you know the prince of wings here and celebration this is a good time this is a good time maybe she's the one oh yeah the leader queen of rose because the cloud is about you know being confused of how you feel for this person or somewhat something like that and she's gonna make a decision of um, giving in to this person this is a challenging personality by the way the prince of wings um, the prince of wings is the page of uh, the page of swords in traditional tarot so this could indicate um, somebody who is very uh, energetic um, who knows a lot of things like I know I know this game, I know this movie, you know that geeky type of um, character and someone who's willing to learn and you know like a studious type of person you know like a obsession for information that kind of the kind of personality of the Prince of Wings um, very studious uh, like always um, on the go challenging himself with um, the world's opinion or challenging himself to keep up the good work that kind of energy with the prince of wings yeah she's going to make a change a decision two of gems is about two of um two of pentacles in traditional tarot celebration in meeting this person is a good a good omen because finally i think I think this energy represents her old flame or something for some reason. Um, yeah, it could be that way because she finally have this celebration energy, and it comes up with the leader, some someone who is kind of a what do you call that? Not intimidating, but someone who is um, good in. Um, organization you know that kind of energy the kind of character with the leader good in organization leading the conversation passionate because this is air sign the queen of roses is queen of fire and she's the leader that kind of leader type of very initiative you know that kind of person very approachable and um, yeah that kind of energy but I think this is also a good sign because teacup luck is my goodness <laughs> a fortune a fortune love life i'm so excited for her you know she's fucking beautiful <laughs> seriously guys she's so beautiful like you know that the kind of sophisticated um sophisticated face you know not so whammy you know that's so pretty pretty but sophisticated beauty you know what i'm saying not cute girl but she's like sophisticated ah <sighs> i don't know how to describe it anymore but we're gonna take a look at the channel messages here <clears throat> channel messages um is about how this person feels for her 
and we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna wait for the jump cards because some of you might complain to me that I cut my videos <laughs> I'll try not to cut this one even though I I stutter I do fucking stutter a lot <clears throat> And right now I'm having some colds because I keep kissing my cats. Jump cards, please, universe. How this person feel about COEG? Let us know. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, let me tell you the world you are mine. Let sorry. Let me tell the world you are mine. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. Oh, I think this is the reason why there's hold back, you know? Because the person um, is con convincing her that he should tell the world that they are together. You know, that kind of energy. Let's take this slow and get to know each other. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my god there's a hold back okay there's other one flip nothing will change yet everything will only for the better yes this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about the teacup luck because there's a change that will happen that will happen for her there's a change change but she needs to make a decision here because Two of Gems is about making decisions, major decisions, juggling your options, what are you giving in or not. One more, one less. How this person feel for Soyiji? <clears throat> Oops, there's two more, the chump. Wish he were here with me now mm. let go of our past pain so we can move forward past pain like i mentioned earlier there was a past pain that saw yuji go went through you know yeah did i mention that earlier i think i mentioned that earlier with a nine of wings and um ten of roses <clears throat> yeah Oh, this person is missing her a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of feeling when a person is missing you a lot during COVID-19 pandemic. And you know, yeah, you should let go of the past pain. So I think this person is convincing her to say yes to him. You know, the kind of um, emotion because... Um, they're trying to take it slow but at the same time this person wants to move forward with her but she's kind of like stuck in into something else like that happened in the past the kind of the kind of energy that i'm um seeing here overall anyway this is the reading for coug thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of the psychic readings of your favorite celebrities and idols if you have any requests let me know and um just comment down in the comment section box thank you so much for watching love and light namaste bye